Hi everyone, it's Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life and today I am coming to you with a quick tip. Uh, recently I received a notice from my friend Greg who is a fellow OneNote user and a fellow subscriber. Uh, hi Greg! Uh, and I have a tip to share uh, that he mentioned to me that to be honest with you I had completely forgot about. So let's jump into the computer and let's see what that quick tip is. All right. Right here on my screen, you see the January daily template. Uh, that's the video I filmed last week and I was doing a lot of tables and shadings and uh, Greg reminded me of a quick tip. So let's go up here to our uh, quick access toolbar up here at the top and you can click on this little down arrow up here and it says customize quick access toolbar. When you do that, you can add more commands to your toolbar. You see, I already have a few here. I have the back button, the undo button, the tags, the find tags, and the insert table. And let's see what some more commands are that you can put there. Well, it comes up first with the most popular commands. I think any command that you use repetitively uh, is a good thing to put on the toolbar. And that is different for every single person. But I tend to do a lot of highlighting on tables and I tend to do a lot of table shading. So those are the ones that I have recently added. So to find them, what you normally do is you go down and you look at, for example, in this case, all of the popular commands. Uh, if that's not what you're looking for, you can click up here on this drop down box and go to all commands. And that will show you all of the commands that are out there. Uh, for OneNote. And as you can see, there are quite a lot. Okay. All right. So let's go down to uh, select. So these are alphabetical. So I'm going to scroll down to select. And here we see uh, select table. And you see that there is a little um, carrot there next to it. Um, and that means that it will drop down. And I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, you could also have it to select a cell, select a column, select a row, or to select the entire table, which is something that is handy as well. Okay. So I wanted select table. And when you do that, you highlight it and then you just click the add button. And when you click the add button, it then adds it over here. Okay. So you see, I have added select table. I have said, uh, to select the entire table. So this one down here, I also added that. And then of course, what do I like to do to all those tables? I like to shade them. So I, I went on down to table shading uh, and I added that one as well. Okay. So now these are the items that are on my quick access uh, toolbar. All right. Let's say, okay. And uh, let's see how these actually work. So now you see up here at my quick access toolbar, those new items have been added. And uh, I left this table up here uh, from my last filming, uh, just so I could show you quickly how these things work. Okay. So let's say I wanted to choose everything on this particular table. Uh, and I could just go up here to the uh, table that is all completely blue and that chooses everything that is in the table that you are linked to. Okay. So if I want just to choose this days of the week, I can choose that. Okay. Uh, if I want to uh, do this entire table, I can choose that. Okay. Uh, a space where there's nothing in, in the cell. It works great for choosing the entire table. Love that feature. Thanks Greg for the reminder. All right. Now let's say that I want to select just maybe the rows that I want to table shade. So uh, if I go here, I can say, well, no, I want to select this entire row. Okay. Um, let's see, let's go with this one and we will select that entire row and then I can try the table shading. So that's the one that looks like a bucket. So click on that. It brings up all of your themed colors. Um, all of your standard colors, all of your recent colors, and then even the more tables, uh, the more colors table that you can use. Okay. So let's go up here and let's just choose a standard blue and we will do that. And then I can come down here and again, choose this whole row and table shade. Okay. All right. So 
quick way to get to those things that you use the most is to put them in your customized uh, bar up here at the top. Well, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, can't wait to hear what you're going to put in your ribbon bar up there at the top. Thanks for hanging out there with me for this quick tip. And thanks again to Greg. If you have any comments uh, or tips that you would like to leave that you think would be a good idea for me to film as a quick tip, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you'd like. And until next time, okay, bye.